do not yet know how this that first movie came out by people in the audiences around the world. I want to ask you to join this movement and write the next chapters in the wake of this movie so that we continue the momentum. The sustainability revolution has the scope and scale of the industrial revolution and the speed of the digital and information revolution. It is sweeping the world, partly because of the new digital tools that allow people to identify waste and uh, unnecessary uh, emissions and become and make their businesses uh, more profitable at the same time they sharply reduce emissions. When they go out and try to recruit the best and brightest new employees, what they're hearing, particularly from the millennial generation, is, okay, I'm interested in what you're going to pay me, but I'm also interested in what your values are. I want to work for a company that gets it and understands that we have to make the world a better place. And this is happening in every country around the world. It cannot be stopped. It will not be stopped. But you need to help make sure that it's not stopped. For a long time now, there have been only three questions about the climate crisis. Must we change? Can we change? Will we change? The first movie 10 years ago necessarily focused a little bit more on the answer to that first question, must we change? This movie does as well. But the new situation in our world in which this movie is launched is a world in which the answer to that second question, can we change, is very different and more definitive than it was 10 years ago. As you saw in this film, the, the cost of renewable energy and efficiency and battery storage and sustainability is, has gone down so dramatically and it continues to go down, like the cell phones, like the computer chips, like the flat screen TVs. There's some areas of technology that just yield to research and development and yield to a decision by business and investment leaders who actually have played a critical part in making this revolution possible. But the key to this whole revolution, and the key to making sure that we win by solving the climate crisis in time to avoid the catastrophic consequences from which we could not recover, the real key is you. One person can't stop it, as I said before. One person can make a difference in joining with others and tapping into the strength of numbers to build this movement even stronger uh, and make it even more powerful. So my fondest hope for what lies ahead is that this movie will help to catalyze the growth of that movement. And you, particularly this audience, seeing it before almost anyone else, in tweeting and going on social media and spreading the word and making sure when the theatrical release uh, occurs that you get people uh, your opinion. Yeah, you ought to go see this. Uh, it, 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 the truth does have a power to change our world for the better. And I, for one, deeply believe that this climate movement is very much in the tradition of all of the great moral movements that have improved our lives 
uh, in human civilization. The civil rights movement, the anti-apartheid movement, women's suffrage, gay rights, all the way down the list. And when, when the question is ultimately resolved into a moral choice between what's right and what's wrong, the outcome is foreordained. But you have to clear away the underbrush and have a crystal clear focus on what the, the real issue is. Are we going to do right by our children and grandchildren? And by the way, ourselves, because we're already seeing these consequences. So anybody who doubts that we have the ability to make this change, that doubts that we have the will to act, just remember, the will to act is itself a renewable resource. Thank you for coming. <laughs>